Hi, Scorpio. It's Jeffrey. It's the right color. Here we are again. This is the reading for the week of May 2nd through the 9th, uh, 2021. First week in May. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30. And all the information is below. Hopefully by this time, I'm pre-recording. So hopefully by this time that it's up, I will have the uh, astrology t-shirts and stickers available. I was going to get into mugs, but it was just too much work, and it was it was confusing on the uh, back end of the website actually. Like the t-shirts were really easy to upload. You know, you just put the image on, you change the size, you put it where you want on the t-shirt. You see. But the mugs were like really complicated. It's like, oh, it has to be different sizes. It's like, but then no one tells you the size. <laughs> like, if you can't make it easy, you know, if I start really selling t shirts, I'll put up mugs. Okay. One, two, three. Lovely, 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 lovely. And then creativity. The direction becomes clear. The inspiration, the direction, planted on earth, yet in emotion, in spirit, the seven sisters, seven, seven pointed stars. Very auspicious. Seven, seven pointed stars. This is a great card. I, like the, this is, this is inspiration. This is hope. This is dreams. This is direction direction you know and it's also it's like spiritual direction it's like to, it's like direction from above direction from your from your higher self direction from the angels direction hope I'm not even going to read the rest of it <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting this um, this thing in my right, um, it started at the beginning of the reading, in my right uh, shoulder blade thing. So the right side is the uh, masculine side, and it's the, it's the, um, the desire and the will to reach for what you want. This, this uh, takes and this gives, right? Or this receives and this, Right, so I'm getting this like, yes, go after what you want, you know, reach for what you want. And then I get creativity. So knowledge, leadership, um, ownership. He owns his uh, creative ability. He owns his, um, passion. Um, he, he also, he's the type that takes responsibility. So if he messes up, don't you love, like for me, like if I make a mistake on something, I own up to it. It's like, yeah, I screwed up. Can we move on? You know, yeah, I screwed up. I'll fix it. Or if I can't fix it, I'll find somebody who can fix it. Or what do you think? Or as opposed to, you know, some people, especially in corporate, it's like, oh, you know, well, I moved my piece of paper to that side of the table, you know, and it's not my responsibility anymore. You know, so, you know, this dude takes responsibility and he takes responsibility for his creative energies and he takes responsibility for his passion. And because he's able to own up, people follow him because they say, you know what? Yeah, he made a mistake. He owned up. He's a good guy. Let's follow him because, you know, he's a human being. And then the inkling of something new. <laughs> and, you know, interesting that I said about the right side, because, this, the, you know, the wands are phallic. So it's a masculine, penetrative, action-oriented energy. You know, not that... Women don't do that. We all have masculine and feminine. 
you know, this whole whatever. I can't even get that conversation. So this is about looking forward. This is about moving forward. And this is about like owning, be, having the knowledge of the creative ability, having the knowledge of the passion, having the knowledge of uh, how to act, of being a leader, and then a new, uh, like, it's almost like once you own who you are and once you own your, uh, your own desire, that's when something new, you know, it's like, like a little baby came out of it. <laughs> now that's a miracle. I'll introduce you to my children one day. I have two children. I have a, a bear and a monkey. <laughs> and they travel around with me. And, um, you know, they're pieces and parts of me. And they love cookies. Who can blame them? So, I'm going to throw another card because, you know, you're Scorpio, I'm a Scorpio, but, you know, new awareness, rebirth, hearing the call yet again, combining. The cross is such an interesting symbol. It's so ancient. It's so, um, it's so much bigger than Christianity, actually. So the cross is really about the union of the, uh, the vertical and the horizontal being the union of the material world and the spirit world. That's what the cross is about. It's about them coming together and forming something. And uh, don't be surprised if you um, are dreaming or having prophecy or intuition or hearing things because Gabriel's present. Mm -hmm. messenger and you know also Gabriel actually means strength of the Lord it's the strength of the Lord it's the there's a real um, energy of um, being um, emboldened of being um nurtured for um, action. I heard it. I'm going to go with it sort of thing. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it's really lovely. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So I'm doing, I'm pre-recording, like I said before, maybe that means that, you know, I'll put the t-shirts up and then I'll have a new idea about where to go with them. I don't know. Um, you know, I love you and blessings to you. And the other thing I want to say is um, there's no love more important than self love. That's really what I want to say. So treat yourself in a loving manner. Sleep enough, eat healthy food, surround yourself with people who love you, and cut out the rest, baby. Cut it out, because there's no room, no more. We're done. New awareness. Reverse. I love this, right? Cut it out. <laughs> It'll grow back. Anyway. Enjoy being a Scorpio. I certainly enjoy being a Scorpio. Blessings.